No matter how you play it, there's sure to be one to fit your style. We show them that we are not afraid. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 operators from Rainbow Six Siege. Reactivating Team Rainbow was the right choice. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be taking a look at all the operators released thus far. While most of the things we'll be talking about work in Terrorist Hunt, we'll mainly be focusing on the effectiveness of these operators when playing multiplayer. Number 10, Mira. The hostage location is compromised, get ready. It's a scary time when you're holed up in your defensive room as you wait for the attackers to push on the objective. Mira's gadgets help to eliminate some of that stress. Her bulletproof glass panels allow friendlies to see out of the room, while the enemies can't see in. Ahora me veis? Ahora no me veis? If you decide to get your murderer on, though, you can just pop open the one-way mirror and let him have it, though that tactic isn't always advised, as it essentially creates an opening for the entire attacking team to fire inside. I mean, come on, surveillance is more essential than aggression when defending. Number 9, Glass. Do you know what an artist and a sniper have in common? You'd think a sniper wouldn't be really appropriate for the close quarters combat that takes place in Siege, but you'd be surprised at how effective Glass can be. His flip scope lets you switch to a red dot sight for those more personal moments, and the gun's high damage means that as long as you can land those shots, you'll be coming out alive. His scoped thermal sight highlights enemies in yellow, too, and coupled with some smoke grenades, he can easily see what's happening in a room when others can't. Number 8, Mute. Without a doubt, having a mute on your team almost always helps. His signal disruptors do just that, disrupt signals. This puts a lot of attacking operators' gadgets out of business. Drones can be deactivated, explosive cluster charges will prove ineffective, and your reinforced walls will stay safe from the likes of Thermite and Hibana. The threat has been eliminated. If you're fortunate in keeping those drones out, it may buy you enough time to adequately prepare for the incoming attackers. Easy score, too, when you step out of your room and see a pile of drones out of commission. Number 7, Fuse. This hulking character is equipped with a cluster charge that penetrates barricades, shooting out a bunch of explosive pellets, destroying everyone and everything inside the room. It's not uncommon to see the kill feed show three kills in one go from Fuse. Sometimes he can even end a match with a single charge. Players that really know how to play won't just activate the cluster charge anywhere, and will strike when they know for sure that someone is in the room, or if it's the objective room. Just make sure you aren't playing hostage. Number 6, Jaeger. When you're the only defensive operator to have an assault rifle, as opposed to a submachine gun, playing aggressively isn't actually such a bad idea. While his impressive defense systems can halt grenades in their tracks, he's most effective at getting the jump on attackers. Op four, last operator standing. His quick speed and assault rifle allow him to quickly close in on good viewpoints to take out unsuspecting attackers, making him one of the best roamers to play, just as long as you get used to his recoil. Number 5, Valkyrie. Activating camera. Knowing the ins and the outs of a map is critical to effectively playing this operator. Surveillance is her strong suit, and with the ability to deploy up to three cameras across the map, she can essentially know the position of every enemy. Not only that, but anyone else defending with her can jump on her cameras too, which means if you're effective, no more surprise attacks from the opposing team. She also has the fastest firing SMG in the game, capable of really tearing up foes left and right. With great weapons and equal speed and armor, she's also an excellent roamer too. Number 4, Rook. I trust that the ceramic trauma plate I'm wearing will stop a 357 Magnum round traveling at 490 meters per second. Sponging a couple of extra bullets is sometimes all it takes for you to come out of a firefight victorious. As Rook, you can place a satchel full of armor plates down, which grants an extra 20% damage resistance. This obviously comes in handy for light and speedy operators. They get the armor boost without the sacrifice of speed. The plates will also protect you from being totally killed after your health reaches zero, unless you get shot in the head. Being downed but not out makes you breathe a bit of a sigh of relief sometimes. 
as it means you've been granted a second chance, and sometimes that's really all it takes to win. Number three, Doc. I've learned from experience that the place to save lives is in the field, not an office. The only healing operator in the game, Doc is equipped with a stim pistol. And with only three shots available in multiplayer, the person playing him better make him count. So while slow, Doc has maximum armor, meaning that he probably shouldn't be played aggressively. His stim pistol can even be used to revive downed friends from afar, as well as be used to self-revive, which certainly helps if everyone's abandoned you. But as long as your team is communicating, Doc's healing capabilities can save a lot of lives. The only way to save a life is to take one. Number two, Thermite. Throw some C4 into the mix, and you've got one hell of a combination. There's nothing quite like that secure feeling of being tucked nicely into a corner, surrounded by reinforced walls to cover your back while you aim at the only entrance in the room. Unfortunately, those reinforced walls are still susceptible to collapse. Enter Thermite, an attacking operator with the ability to destroy reinforced walls, creating entries in positions which the defenders have generally decided to ignore. With equal speed and armor, and a few great weapon choices, Thermite is one of the most balanced operators in the game. Number one, Hibana. Hibana will take some getting used to, but once mastered, she's a devastating operator to go up against. She's a three-speed operator with weapons that seriously pack a punch, as well as being scarily accurate. Her launcher fires pellets that can destroy walls. And while the area of effect isn't quite as big as Thermite's, her smaller entry points allow enough space to get some clean shots in. And when you're blowing holes in three reinforced walls while you break in from somewhere else, the enemy will probably be dead before they figure out what the heck is going on. 15 seconds left. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.